Okay, so what I'm doing here is uh, attempt two of something. Uh, now on a channel called AVE, I saw a video of friction welding with tungsten carbide and some two various metals. They did it in a uh, horizontal milling machine. I only have a Dremel and some plastic. Now since I don't have tungsten carbide or random metals laying around, I'm going to be doing this with two pieces of ABS. A piece of ABS from a spool of filament behind a 3D printer and a chunk of failed prints that I fused together with acetone in that bucket behind me. So this would be attempt two. I already did it once. You can see that little black dot in here. That just sheared off of this when I clipped it. I mean, I just sheared it off. I didn't clip it. So this is going to be a little loud, so there is a noise warning. You see that smoke? Now, it's all melted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start breaking the weld. I'm hopefully going to be able to do this. It's still a little malleable because it's ABS. I'm going to lock the Dremel. And hopefully be able to get this out without breaking it. There it is. So I just let a plastic, I did just, it, uh, first, first successful attempt at friction welding with plastic. Now the goal of friction welding on when AVE did it was to weld two pieces of metal. I just had a random clump of ABS and a spool of black filament I was just able to weld together. Now about the filament, I will be getting back to doing 3D printing and I will uh, I'm having problems with the printer. Z offset and G code problems. G code problems are also actually the cause of the Z axis problem, where it bumped the end stop and ground against the bed of the printer. So I will. Oh god, there's water in that. So I will hopefully repair that and be able to do more videos. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try this again. That one's fused in there for good this time. So I'm just going to chop another piece of filament off. Or a small piece. Put it in the chuck. Secure it ish well good enough and try it again so I did something right and you can see it's still malleable because I just melted the ABS plastic now if I remember correctly, and I remember my Celsius to Fahrenheit conversion in, 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 it's around 300 degrees, I believe. So, I was able to generate 300 degrees worth of friction. ABS melts around 300 Fahrenheit, 200 and something, no, 400 and something Celsius or something. I don't know, it's been a long time since I looked at uh, any of the software for a printer. I, and I know that measures in Celsius. But it, I don't have the Fahrenheit conversion. I think it's around 300. Someone will point me out if I'm right or wrong in the comments or not. So uh, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.